guys, my name is Ms. Meg and I work in the children's department at Save a Library and I'm here today for special guest story time. And the story I picked is actually extra, extra special uh, because this weekend it's actually the library's birthday. So even though we can't be together to celebrate, I figured it would still be really fun to read a story about cake and a birthday party. It's also my birthday and that's how I always remember the library's birthday. So I'm extra excited to share cake with you by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett and I want to thank both them and their publishers, Simon and Schuster, for allowing me to read the story and share it with you all. Cake. Cake. <laughs> Cake had just received an exciting invitation. He'd never been to a party before, so he didn't know what to expect. But he was sure about one thing. He wanted to look his best. You are invited to a party. Fish didn't know what cake should wear either. He'd never been to a party before. Hmm, said Fish. So this is Fish. Hmm, said Fish. Nope, I don't think so. What about a hat, suggested Fish. Good thinking, said Cake. So Cake went off to buy a hat. Cake tried on lots of hats in the shop, but none of them were quite right. Is it for a special occasion? Asked the shop assistant. A wedding, perhaps? No, said Cake. A party. Oh, said the shop assistant. In that case, I have just the thing. And he disappeared out the back. What kind of hat should the cake wear to a birthday party? Probably not a fruit hat. Here you go, sir, said the shop assistant. You'll be irresistible in this. Thank you very much, said Cake. He couldn't wait to go home and show Fish his new hat. Are you ready? Called Cake from his bathroom. Are we ready? I hope so. Ta-da! You've done it, shouted Fish. I think he found the perfect hat. Let's see. Cake was soon on his way to the party, dressed in his new hat. Diddly dee, diddly dum, I'm off to a party to have some fun. Hmm. What usually happens to Cake at birthday parties? Cake was a bit nervous when he arrived, but when everyone saw him, they cheered. Cake's here! A party isn't a party without Cake, they said, and in he went. Cake was having so much fun at the party. There was dancing and lots of games. But then the singing started. What usually happens when we sing at a birthday party? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cake was getting a bad feeling about this. Oh, crumbs! Suddenly, there was a gust of wind, and everything went black. Then, there was a smell of raspberries, and Cake felt a wibbly-wobbly hand grab hold of his. And a wibbly-wobbly voice said, I wonder who that is. Quick! Run for it, Cake! And the taco and the lollipop and the sandwich, and the ice cream, and the cookies, and the cotton candy, and the cake, and the pizza ran all the way to Cake's house. Meanwhile, back at the front door, ding dong, I do hope I haven't missed the party, says the pinata. The end. <laughs> so our friend Cake made it out to see another birthday party. I hope you all enjoyed the story. Have a great day.